Good morning. Uh, today we are going to cover how to download, how to edit, and how to print some of the marketing materials that we have available to you in the documents library in our back at you or our Bay office system. Uh, we're going to use the example of the grab and go listing presentation today, but the edits um, and the printing and most of the other information is going to be the same no matter what um, uh, product that you're using. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to log into Bay. Uh, so that's mycbstar.com. Uh, that's what the login looks like. It's going to take you to your Bay dashboard. So if, once you enter your dashboard, you're going to go to files, documents library, and that's where we house all of the marketing materials and things like that. Uh, our back at you or our grab and go listing presentations are available under the marketing assets right here. You can see all of the different files that are available to you. So under marketing assets, we're going to click on that. There's buyer and seller and agent assets under here. So there's um, like um, seller's guides and buyer's guides, which you can download, edit, print in here. But for today, like I said, we're going to go with the grab and go listing presentation, which is under listing presentations. Here you can see we have the CB Moxie Presents, which is the listing presentation that comes from Coldwell Banker Corporate, if you prefer that one. This one has the correct DBA logos in it. Um, but other than that, it's the same one that you can get from Coldwell Banker Realogy Corporation. We have the grab and go listing presentation and we have the full length listing presentation. This full length listing presentation uh, is specific to a property. So it's going to have specific property details and that's the one you would use if you had time ahead of time to really prepare the full listing presentation. This grab and go listing presentation is a 20 page presentation that focuses mostly on the agent and the company and what you bring to the table and it's not property specific. It's literally meant to, you grab it and you run out the door with it. Everything is always available in a PDF format and a PowerPoint. Uh, if you have a full version of Adobe, I'd recommend using the PDF format because it's a lot easier to download and print it and make edits to it. Um, if you don't and you only have Microsoft Office, then you can download the PowerPoint version um, and make any changes that you want. And then when you're done, you're going to convert that file to a PDF to be able to print it. Uh, Microsoft Office PowerPoint does not allow you to print booklets you have to print it from a PDF. So as long as you have the free version of Adobe Reader and you can use PowerPoint, then you're gonna be fine on this. So for today, I'm gonna to use the PowerPoint version just as a sample. So you're gonna click on these three little dots and click on download. That's gonna to go to your downloads file. I don't like to open from here because it opens a web file. I like to open the actual version of the file. So I'm gonna click on the file button down here, go to downloads and double click on my listing presentation right here. So here is the PowerPoint version of it. So I'm going to click on enable editing. And again, this is a 20 page version. Um, anytime you're printing booklets, your total number of pages has to be a multiple of four because each sheet it's printed on 11 by 17 inch paper has four pages, two on the front and two on the back when it's printing. So if you have an odd number, like you have 19 pages, you're going to have a blank page as the last page. So you can take out pages and you can add pages. Just make sure that they're always 16 pages, 20 pages, 24 pages, et cetera, et cetera, multiples of four. Um, there's ways that you can fudge it a little bit by adding like the inside cover be a blank page. So like page two be blank. And same thing with the back, like the second to last page be a blank page with the way the booklet works out. So, but for right now, we're just going to do some small edits on this. I'd recommend downloading this, editing it once, and then they can just save the file to your desktop and you can just print it out whenever you want. The main thing that we're going to edit is this second page where we have all of our agent information. So you're going to fill all this information out with your agent information. So I am going to, as I usually do, pick on Shay. <laughs> I pulled up his Zillow profile because it's the most robust profile uh, and agent bio that I could find about him. So I'm literally just going to copy and paste this information into the PowerPoint right here. So you can add it and edit it however you want. So it fits the space. You can adjust the font, you can adjust the size of the text, whatever floats your boat, you know? So.
So mostly I'm just going through and adding this to make sure that it looks nice. Uh, the text itself is really small and it's kind of a weird font. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put it in a real basic font and then make sure that it's at least a 12 point font so it's readable like that. So I would probably recommend doing a little bit more editing on this one just so it looks a little bit nicer, but you kind of get the point here, what we're going for. Same thing, you're gonna add or edit your agent information down here. You can adjust the size of these text boxes if you want. Um, and then we will get the rest of his agent information in here. So that's the cell phone number that we're just going to copy and paste it right here. Add in his email address and then add in his license number as well. And again, if you want to have more of a story here and less bullet points, you can add in, you know, more of a robust story that you like that tells a little bit about who you are and where you came from and why you love real estate, all of that information, however you want to do. So we're going to swap out his agent photo. So one of the tricks that I like to do here is if you uh, right click on it, so depending on what program it is, sometimes it lets you swap out the photo. Uh, this one, of course, is not letting me do that. So what we're going to do is just going to go in head and insert. So insert a picture. Uh, I had already downloaded Shave's headshot to my downloads folder earlier. So now I can go ahead and adjust this to be whatever size that I want. So I'm going to get rid of that little gray one and then put Shay's headshot down here and just kind of make sure everything's squared away and it looks good. So if you're satisfied with the way that this page looks, um, obviously I would spend some more time on this to make this look a little bit cleaner, but for samples today, it works. You're good. Um, you can go through the rest of this presentation and make changes, additions, or subtractions if you want to. Everything on this is editable because that's the way that this program works. The only other thing I might suggest is on the very back page, also adding the agent information. And the reason I say that is because um, it's easy to get the information um, from a closed booklet on the back page. So I'm going to copy and paste it back here. Maybe center it. Increase the font size maybe for his name. I'll bring that down a little bit because that's really big. Uh, but all of that information there. And you could even put your photo on the back page if you want to. It's really dealer's choice on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Control C for copy and go back to the last page and hit Control V for paste. And then I'll add that in here. So we're going to call this uh, Shay's Grab and Go Listing Presentation. I've made edits. I'm happy with the whole thing. It's 20 pages long. Uh, so I'm going to do save as. I'm going to save it to my desktop or wherever I like to do it uh, so I can find it easily. And I'm going to adjust the name. Jay Murphy Grab and Go Listing Presentation. Oh, 2021. So we can save it at a PowerPoint presentation at this point if we want to, which is fine. And if you wanted to just print out single pages, you could print and be fine. The problem is, is that if you want to print as a nice booklet format, which all of those printers should be able to do, you need to convert this to a PDF file. Um, so there's a couple of different ways you can do this. Uh, mine has a save as Adobe PDF, but also if you just click here, save as, you can save it to desktops or downloads or whatever. If you click this drop down arrow right here, you have all these other types of formats that you can save as. So you're going to select PDF and you'll save that as a PDF. Once it's saved as a PDF, then you have the option to print it as a booklet. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. And I'm going to open up the PDF file right here. Now I have the full version of Adobe, so it might look a little bit different than yours. 
but I'm going to go ahead and zoom out. I'm going to view this so you can see what this is actually going to look like as a booklet. So here's our cover. And then this is what the inside spread, the first two pages would look like with uh, the agent information here. And then it goes into the rest of the booklet here all the way to the back page. So when you're ready to print it, we're going to go click up here to file and print. Uh, I'm going to deselect my home printer and I'm going to use the Pismo printer because it has the options that I need. So this is the default that it's going to do. It's going to default to 11 by 8 inches because that's what normally we would want to do. We're going to change that under properties. So we're going to click on properties and right here where it says document size, we're going to drop down. I'm going to click on 11 by 17. Down here is the staple function. There's two at center. That's what we're going to select. If you're unable to select that, that means you need to update your drivers. Um, and there is actually support for the printers that will help you do that. Um, or you can use the external stapler after it's been printed because each office has one of those kind of funny looking staplers that has like a big pyramid in the middle of it. So you can do the, the booklet staples. So we have 11 by 17 and two at center. We're going to hit OK. And we want this preview to look just like this. It's under booklet not under size, but under booklet. So we should be able to see the back page and the front page here. If we click on the next one, it'll be the second page and the second to last page. So page 19 and page two here. So this is what we want it to see. There's not a big white gap around it. So we're on the right size paper and it's gonna print 10 pages in a booklet. And when it comes out of the printer, it'll be folded in half and stapled and ready to go. So at this point we would hit print and it would go through the printer. Um, I would recommend we have a heavier cardstock for these booklets that you use for the cover. And then on the interior pages, use the regular um, cardstock for the 11 by 17 inch paper. If you use cardstock, the heavy cardstock for the whole thing, um, it's a little bit unwieldy and too thick and it doesn't lay flat and feel really nice. But the cardstock just on the cover is really nice. So to do that, you just open the tray and put one sheet of the paper in there because it always prints the cover first. Um, and then just close the tray and let it do its thing printing it and it'll pick up that that heavy cardstock for the exterior cover. So that's how you download and how you edit and how you print the grab and go listing presentation. So have a good day.